Satnam and welcome to Kundalini Yoga with me, Anita. Today we're going to be doing the Kriya for flexibility in the spine. This is a fantastic Kriya for increasing your flexibility and helping to align your skeletal system. We will be doing some postures that are not necessarily common in a typical Kundalini class. I encourage you to use your body's self-awareness to help adapt any of these postures to suit your ability. If you'd like to learn more about posture modification and injury prevention, please click the link in the description or in the card at the top of the screen. So let's get started. Come seated on your mat in easy pose and take a moment to lengthen the spine and relax the shoulders. Bring your awareness onto your breath, allowing yourself to come into your body. Feel the heaviness of your body on the mat and feel like you're being pulled up by a piece of string, helping to bring your spine into alignment. We're going to tune in with Ong Namo Gurudev Namo. Rub your palms together to create some heat. Press your palms together at your heart center with your elbows parallel to the ground. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to tune in. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Om Namo Guru Dev Namo Inhale Hold your breath, pull up on your anus, sex organ and navel chakra which makes up the root lock, the mulband. Feel the energy coming up the spine. Squeeze, hold and exhale and release your hands. We're going to begin with arches pose. Come standing in the middle of your mat with your feet together. You're going to step forward with your right leg, coming into a lunge. Make sure the left leg is straight with the foot flat on the ground at a 45 degree angle to the front foot. From this position, bring both arms up in front of you with your fingers curled over onto the pad of your hands and your thumbs pointing up towards the ceiling. You're going to draw back your left arm as if you're pulling an arrow in a quiver. You want to make sure that your elbow doesn't drop, so keep that up by your shoulder. You're going to focus your eyes on your thumbnail. Hold this position. It is a position of strength and stability. Feel yourself steady and strong as you breathe long and slow. If you find that your elbow has dropped, gently lift it back up again. Inhale, exhale, release the posture. We're going to repeat this posture but on the opposite side. So this time step out with your left leg. Your right leg is straight with the foot flat on the ground at a 45 degree angle. Allow your arms to come up, curl your fingers over onto the palms of your hands with the thumbs pointing up. This time draw back your right arm Keeping the elbow up, make sure your shoulders are relaxed and allow your gaze to fall onto your thumbnail. Allow your breath to come slow and steady. Feel how grounded and strong you are in this position.
keep yourself present with this posture. If thoughts have begun to intrude, gently guide yourself back to concentrating on that thumbnail and to concentrating on your breath. Inhale, and exhale, release your hands, and come lying down on your back. Your arms are down by your side with the palms facing down. You may wish to tuck your hands underneath your buttocks to make this posture more accessible. Press your legs together, press your heels together, and lift your legs about two feet off the ground make sure to engage your core. If this position is too challenging for you, lift your legs a little higher until you can feel that the small of your back is pressed down into the ground. It's not about how low you can hold your legs, it's about finding a position that you know that you can hold for the next minute or two. Your eyes are closed, focus on the third eye point and use long deep breathing. Inhale, and exhale. Allow your legs to rest down on the ground. Take a moment, notice any changes or shifts in your body. Inhale, and exhale. Turning yourself over so that you're on your front ready for locust pose. Make fists with your hands and place them on the lower abdomen inside the front of the hip bone near the groin. Keep the heels together and the legs straight. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your buttocks and lift them as high as possible and hold this posture. Continue with long deep breathing. Stay aware of your body and its limitations. If at any point you feel like this is too much, feel free to take a rest and then as soon as you're able, lift your legs back up again. Inhale, squeeze your buttocks, squeeze your legs, and exhale and release. Turn your head onto one side and allow yourself a quick rest. Inhale. And exhale. 
preparing for bow pose. Bend your legs and then reach back with your arms to hold on to the ankles. You want to kick up with your legs to help lift you up off the ground. Your head is facing forward with your eyes closed, focus on the third eye point. Continue with long, deep breathing. Inhale, and exhale, pushing yourself into baby pose with your forehead resting on the ground and your arms by your side. This is to help stretch out your lower back. Inhale, and exhale. Coming into standing position, preparing for the windmill. Stand up straight with your legs spread about two feet apart. Reach your arms out at your side. As you exhale, bend forward and touch your right hand to your left ankle. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, touch your left hand to your right ankle. Inhale as you come up. Continue touching your opposite hand to your opposite ankle. This posture is great for your digestion as well as stretching out the life nerve or the sciatica at the back of the leg. Your eyes are closed, focused on the third eye point. Go at your own pace, but make sure to have nice, strong breath. Inhale, and exhale, release your arms. Remaining in a standing position with your feet hip width apart. Inhale, bring your arms up above your head and arch back slightly. Exhale as you pivot forward from the waist, bringing your chest to your knees and touching your feet if you can. Inhale, come up with your arms above your head and arch back. Exhale. Touch your feet. Inhale up, exhale down. Continue at your own pace.
Inhale. Bring your arms up above your head. And exhale. Release your hands. Inhale. Bring one arm up above your head. And as you exhale, bend sideways. Inhale. Come center and exhale. Bring your other arm up and bend in the opposite direction. Exhaling as you bend over, inhaling as you come center. Alternate smoothly from side to side. Make sure that you're not bending your body forward or backwards. Inhale, bring both arms up above your head and exhale as you release and come sitting down on the mat. Take a moment here to rest. Check in with your breath and check in with your body. Inhale and exhale. Preparing for life nerve stretch. So you're going to spread your legs out as far as you can. You may wish to use a pillow to prop your hips up so that your spine can remain straight. You're going to inhale and stretch forward to grab onto your big toes using your index and middle finger to wrap around the big toe and press your thumb into the toenail. From here, you're going to inhale in an upright position and as you exhale, you're going to bring your head to your knee. You inhale as you come center and you exhale as you bring your forehead to your other knee. You inhale up and you exhale down. If you can't reach your toes, feel free to rest your hands on your ankles or on your legs. Enjoy the stretch down your legs, in your inner thigh, in your lower back and up your spine, into your neck. Your eyes are closed, focused on the third eye point. Inhale, come center, and exhale as you bend forward and allow yourself to hang here for a moment. Inhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. Release your hands. Bringing your legs together in front of you. You're going to inhale as you pull up on your spine and bend forward, reaching for your toes, for your ankles or your legs. If you can reach your toes, again, wrap your index and middle finger around the large toe and press your thumbs into the toenail. You're going to inhale as you stretch up and exhale as you bend forward. You inhale up and you exhale down. Inhale up and exhale down. Your eyes are closed, focused on the third eye point. Nice strong breaths. If you find your mind wandering off at any time, use the mantra Sat on the inhale and Nam on the exhale. This mantra will help you keep yourself present, help to occupy the mind while you keep yourself present with the movement. Inhale up, and exhale, bend forward and hold. Allow your breath to regulate. Inhale, and exhale, and release, and come lying down on your back. Take a quick rest here. Your arms are down by your side with your palms facing up. Allow your feet to flop out. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to come into a plow pose. Again, please use your best judgment on how far you can go with this posture. You're going to lift your arms up above your head. Then you're going to engage your navel and you're going to lift your legs up, lift your hips up and bend over until your feet are above your head, touching the ground where your hands are. Keep your legs straight. Relax in this position with long, deep breathing. This and the next couple of postures can be challenging. Listen to your body and your limits. If you need to sit it out, if you need to modify, if you need to take a break, please do. There is no judgment. Inhale, exhale, lift your legs up and slowly unroll yourself 
until you're lying back on the mat with your arms down by your side. Inhale and exhale. Preparing for a shoulder stand. Lift your legs back up, lift your hips and come back into the plow pose. With your arms, you're going to rest your hands on your back. Lift one leg at a time until your legs are pointing towards the ceiling. Use your hands to provide that support. Use long, deep breathing in this posture. Inhale, and as you exhale, lower your legs back into plow pose. You're going to spread your legs apart, and with your legs spread apart, lift your legs back up until you're back into a shoulder stand. Exhale as you bring your legs together and lower your legs back into plow pose. Inhale as you spread your legs apart and lift them up back into shoulder stand. Two more times. Exhale as you bring your legs together and lower them into plow pose. Inhale as you spread your legs apart and lift them back into shoulder stand. Exhale, bring your legs together and lower them down to the ground. Inhale, spread your legs apart and come back into shoulder stand. Exhale, lower your legs into plow pose and then uncurl your spine until you find yourself on your back. Take a moment here, allowing your blood to regulate your breath to regulate, and take stock of how your body is feeling after this posture. Inhale, and exhale. Your arms are down by your side with the palms facing down. You're going to squeeze your legs together and you're going to roll yourself up until you're in plow pose. As you exhale, you're going to roll out of plow pose until you're lying on your back. Continue inhaling as you roll into plow pose and exhaling as you uncurl onto your back. Take your time, there's no need to rush. Make sure to engage your navel as you lift your legs up to help protect your lower back. If you find that lifting your legs is too challenging, feel free to bend your legs into your body and then straighten your legs as you curl over into plow pose. Mm Inhale, and exhale, come down onto your back 
And again, take a moment to relax, to feel Inhale and exhale. Sitting up so that you are sitting on your knees in rock pose. We're going to do Satkriya, an incredibly powerful posture to help move breath and energy throughout the body. You're going to interlace your fingers and allow your index fingers to point up and then cross your thumbs over. You're going to hug your ears with your arms, bringing your arms up above your head and keeping your arms straight. We're going to chant Sat Nam. As you chant Sat, you're going to press your navel towards your spine. And as you chant Nam, you're going to release it. Sat, press your navel to your spine. Nam, release it. If you'd like to know more about this posture, feel free to click the link in the description or the card at the top of the screen. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale to begin. Sat Nam. 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 Inhale. Hold your breath. Squeeze up on the mulban, that's your anus, sex organ, and navel chakra. Pull up on that root lock. Exhale, keep your arms up above your head and exhale fully out and then apply the lock again. Inhale and exhale, release your hands. In this position, bend forward, allowing your forehead to touch the ground. Stretch your arms overhead with your palms touching together and meditate on the brow point by silently projecting the primal sounds of sa, ta, na, ma, sa, ta, na, ma. Mentally repeat this mantra, allow it to vibrate through your body.
Inhale. And exhale. Coming to sit in easy pose. So sitting comfortably in easy pose. Inhale and raise both arms over the head, bringing the backs of the hands together. Exhale and lower the arms, letting just the fingertips touch the floor. Inhale, bring your arms up above your head with the backs of the hands touching and exhale, allow your fingertips to touch the floor. Inhale up and exhale down. <laughs> Eyes are closed, focused on the third eye point, with nice, strong breaths. Inhale, and exhale. Come standing with your feet hip-width apart. Extend the arms straight forward parallel to the ground. From this position, exhale as you bend down into a crouching position and inhale as you come back up. Exhale as you crouch down, inhale as you come up. Inhale, and exhale. Coming into our final posture, come onto your hands and knees, preparing for cat-cow. Make sure that your hands are beneath your shoulders and your knees are below your hips. You're going to inhale as you look up and arch your spine down. Exhale as you bring your chin to your chest and arch your spine up. Inhale. Arch down, exhale, arch up.
Inhale. And exhale. And come lying down on your back for deep relaxation. Feel free to cover yourself with a blanket. Your legs are stretched out. Your feet are relaxed. Your arms are down by your side with your palms facing up. Allow yourself to sink into your mat. Feel a sense of relaxation and heaviness steal over you as you allow yourself to drift.
Inhale. And exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and your ankles. Inhale as you stretch your arms above your head. As you exhale, bring a knee into your chest and allow it to drop across your body into a nice cat stretch. And repeat on the other side. Rub the soles of your feet together, your palms together, helping to awaken you from your deep relaxation. Rock yourself up and down on your spine and come sitting up in easy pose, ready for meditation. Today we're going to be doing a meditation for a calm heart. This is a beautiful meditation that can help you when you're feeling stressed or anxious. It helps you to clear your mind and to start to see things with a more accurate view. So come sitting in easy pose. You're going to take your left hand and place it over your heart center with your fingers facing across your body. Feel how warm and soothing your hand feels pressed against your chest. With your right hand, touch your index and your thumb together in a Gyan Mudra. Lift your hand up so that it's by your shoulder, as if you're about to give a pledge. The palm is facing forward. The elbow is relaxed down by your side. Close your eyes nine-tenths of the way so that there's only a tiny slit of light. And then concentrate on the flow of your breath. Inhale slowly and deeply through the nostrils. And then suspend your breath for as long as you possibly can. When you can no longer hold your breath, exhale smoothly and completely. When the breath is totally out, lock the breath out for as long as you can. And then begin again. Inhale, slowly and consciously. Hold your breath in for as long as you can. And then exhale all the way out and hold your breath out for as long as you can. You'll notice as you go further with this meditation that your breath will get slower and longer.
Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bring your arms up above your head and shake. Shake your hands, your wrists and your arms. Exhale, continue shaking. And then inhale, stiffen your arms, touch your thumbs together above your head and as you exhale, allow your hands to drift down. If you'd like to do a longer 11 minute version of this meditation, please click the link in the description or the card above your head. Inhale and exhale. Rubbing your palms together, preparing to tune out with a long satnam. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale to tune out. So Satnam. Satnam, thank you for your beautiful practice today, for taking the time out in your busy schedule. I hope you'll come back to this practice often to help stretch out the body and to calm the heart. If you like this content, please give this video a like, comment about what your experience was with this practice, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos like this. Satnam.